No matter what you go through in life, maintain a positive attitude. No matter the form of disappointment, cultivate a positive attitude. Cultivating a positive attitude is the best decision you can make because attitude is a choice, happiness is a choice, an optimism is a choice. Many people mistakenly think that if their circumstances were different, they would have a better attitude. But that's not true. Attitudes are not determined by circumstances. Attitudes are determined by the choices we make. In any situation, we can choose to have either a good or a bad attitude. Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. A positive attitude can really make dreams come true. Your attitude is like a price tag, it shows how valuable you are. Attitude is just a way of thinking, so change your thought process if you wish to change your attitude. A Christ, like attitude will help you to effectively deal with problems and disappointments. In the book of Ephesians 4, verse 23 and 24, the Bible says, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Your attitude can either lift you up or pull you down after any disappointment, so be careful. A good attitude is significant in the midst of challenges. Attitude is a determinant of whom a person is, and what he or she can do. A positive attitude is a strong magnet for miracles, and it's a faith builder. While, a negative attitude is a weak magnet that discourages and opens the door for faithlessness. Individuals with positive attitudes usually confess positively to themselves, saying I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thus, positive words give life while negative words are silent killers. Don't allow negative words or attitudes to destroy your destiny, instead exercise positive attitude no matter the situation and it will shape your destiny. Your attitude has the power to change your life. The most important thing you can do in any situation is to guard your attitude because, your attitude will enable you to win or cause you to be discouraged. In every situation, instill a winner's mentality. Don't allow negative attitude to keep you from receiving all that God has in store for you. Make a commitment to cultivate a winning attitude every day, and you won't regret it. Also cultivate an attitude of faith whenever you're surrounded with a challenge. In the book of 1 Peter 2, verse 23, the Bible says, People shouted at him and made fun of him. But he didn't do the same back to them. He suffered. But he didn't say that bad things would happen to them. Instead, he trusted in the one who judges fairly. Jesus Christ the suffering servant was not rebellious or resentful towards his suffering. He chose to suffer and do so in silent submission to the will of God. He kept the right attitude by trusting his father. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Jesus maintained a perfect attitude in every situation, because he prayed about everything and worried about nothing. Jesus' attitude was never to become defensive, discouraged or depressed, because his goal was to please his father rather than to achieve his own agenda. In the midst of trials, he was patient. In the midst of suffering, he was hopeful. In the midst of blessing, he was humble. Even in the midst of ridicule, abuse, and hostility, he made no threat. It's reflection time. How does your attitude affect your daily life? How do you behave when you're disappointed? Do you allow the flesh to control your attitude, or do you allow the Holy Spirit to help you out? May the Lord give you the grace to keep the right attitude always, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your attitude towards disappointment and challenges will determine how positive or negative you will be. A positive attitude is vital for surviving hard times especially, after disappointment. My brother, does it mean if I don't maintain a good attitude after any form of disappointment, I'm already doomed for destruction? Yes. After Jack disappointed you, you were already bitter and even said you won't get married again. Thank God, you opened up to me. Many naive singles have destroyed their lives and destinies because a person break their hearts. That is foolishness of the highest order. Some even created an emergency exit route from this world because somebody disappointed them. Surely, they are regretting in hell. Never host any negative attitude after any situation in life. 
Any negative thought is like a seed germinating. If you allow it to grow it will destroy you but, if you change your attitude towards your situation, then you will kill the negative attitude. Lord forgive me for nursing and hosting negative thoughts, because Jack disappointed me. Lord, I'm ashamed of myself. My father, please show me mercy, and blot out my foolish attitude in handling situations around my life, in the name of Jesus Amen. My beloved brother, how can I keep the right attitude after an engagement disappointment? Your attitude is like a key that will usher you into the next phase of your life. Your attitude is also like a key that will open successful doors for you. Your true attitude is reflected in challenging moments. It is easy to have a good attitude when everything is going well. During adversity, maintaining a positive attitude is more difficult, but we must do so. Don't allow happenings around you to change your attitude rather, use your attitude to change your situation. Your reaction to situations around your life can either promote you or demote you. Your reaction will always determine your reality. That's why some people come out of tests and trials unmarred, while others are destroyed by the same set of circumstances. In the Bible, Apostle Paul encourages us to be made new in the attitude of our minds. Your attitudes and thoughts must all be constantly changing for the better. Be constantly renewed in the spirit of your mind, having a fresh mental and spiritual attitude. For you to have the right mental attitude you must have the right spiritual attitude. Thus, you must maintain the right mental attitude because, your attitude is a factor that will determine your outcome in life. My beloved sister to keep the right attitude after an engagement disappointment be mature, in the way you handle any disappointment. Mature people will walk away peacefully, mature people will forgive. Mature people will bounce back and not go backwards because, someone disappointed them. My sister, how did you react when Jack closed the curtains on your relationship? I used this golden rule, so in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets, Matthew 7, verse 12. I'm happy you didn't open your tap in front of him. Awesome, that's a mature behavior. Also to keep the right attitude after disappointment, accept what has happened and move on, because the end of a human relationship is not the end of life. A positive attitude will lead to positive outcome. Your attitude after any disappointment or any situation in life has a great role to play in the next phase of your life. My beloved brother, I am moving on happily because of your teachable lessons. Lord take the glory. Besides, to keep the right attitude after disappointment, control your character. The shape of your character is the shape of your future. Compose yourself wisely after any disappointment. Show me a composed person and I will show you a respectable person. Brother, does it mean if a person retaliates after an engagement disappointment, it means he or she is not composed? Exactly. In the book of Ecclesiastics 7, verse 9 the Bible says, Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap of fools. A person with a mature attitude will shake off the dust of rejection and walk away, knowing that God will one day connect him or her with the right partner and at the right time. Hallelujah! Furthermore, to maintain the right attitude after disappointment, don't judge the person who disappointed you. If God allowed it, it means he has a reason for doing so. If it's God's will, nothing will change it and if it's not God's will, nothing can make it to happen. So, in this situation, disappointment is the only option if it's not the will of God. Don't judge the person who disappointed you, just be calmed. To all my listeners out there, don't allow any form of disappointment to change your attitude. Always maintain a good attitude. Behave maturely after any broken engagement. A person is not defined by a failed engagement, a person is defined by his or her reaction, which constitutes attitude. No matter how you have misbehaved in the past, turn to a new page and a new chapter of positivity and a good attitude in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for listening.